Hello beautiful Aries, welcome to your October reading with me Lorian, the Wellington Witch. Um, so this is basically going to be for the month ahead. We're going to be using the Psychic Tarot, whoops, just going to move that over there slightly. <coughs> Excuse me. Going to be using the Psychic Tarot, maybe a few other tarot cards as well. Um, Oracle cards, depending on what I feel drawn to. So without further ado, let's have a look. Now this is for every sun, moon and rising. I don't think all of those are for you. Okay, now I feel this for you. We also have two full moons this month. So this is going to be very interesting to see what comes up in regards to those energies for you. So you have the Sacral Chakra, Harmony and Transformation. Um, so basically you have Lovers and the Death card. Um, so let's just see what else is coming up here. Oh, and the Universe, the World. Wow. Okay, so you have quite a lot of major arcana cards here. Let me just put this beneath there. So. Hmm. From what I'm seeing here, my darling Aries, there's a lot of stuff going on with your kind of cycles. Um, now, this could be anything from menstrual cycles. It could be cycles of life. It could be noticing the patterns that you are having in regards to your existence. Um, but either way, I'm just seeing this kind of cycle coming through. Now the sacral chakra is to do with the reproductive organs so like I say it could literally be to do with your um, fertility issues or trying with somebody or hoping that one day you will be able to try but there is a focus on the turn of the wheel so maybe there's kind of if you're an Aries rising with a birthday this month or something like that you could be looking at you know what am I taking with me into the next cycle? What am I taking with me into the next journey? Am I doing everything that I really want to do? Am I maybe stalling on some stuff? This is the perfect time to take stock of that. I feel for some of you, your focus is mainly on relationships. Now, this could be romantic or otherwise. I'm not going to put all my eggs in the basket of romance here because a lot of us will be focusing on the people that we keep around ourselves. So are they going to follow you within your transformation or are you kind of going to tell people I'm going to leave you behind? It's completely up to you. When I see the universe here, the main thing that comes to mind is the fact that you are basically manifesting. There could be a fulfillment that you're after as well. Something may not be fulfilling you any longer or there's an area of your life that you really want to pay more attention to. Um, as far as I can see, Aries, in October, there is going to be a call for you to look at the cycles and to look at things, you know, as they turn. So we're going into very deep autumn. I love the transitional phases. Um, so it could be as simple as morning. It could be sunset, you know, sunrise and set the transition of the day. It could be this moment in time if you're spring, if you're on the other side of the world, or autumn. And just noticing the changes that are going on in your life as well as going in around you. It's something that seems to be because Mars is retrograde at the moment, you may be being forced to slow down and take stock of things. If you are fully fledged, have a lot of areas in your chart, you may be focusing a lot on what's going on inside you um, and also feeling a little bit annoyed or aggravated by the world because it's not wanting to move as quickly as you are and you physically cannot move as quickly as you want to because of some restrictions in place because of the Mars retrograde energy forces us to slow down. We can no longer be push, push, push. We are instead getting resistance against that. So your change, the cycle of change, is going to be quite slow in October. You may feel like you get nothing done. 
you literally may feel like, what was the point of that month? I have no idea. I didn't do anything I wanted to do. I didn't go here, here, here. But that's not the point of October. Um, we're going into Libra season, which is balance, but also it has got a tinge of the Scorpio in it. And so your um, co-ruled sign of Scorpio, that brings in a sense of here, death transformation. Now, I've been getting into astrology a lot lately and, you know, upping my game a little bit on that. So your energy is probably going to be feeling a little bit more like resisting or deep diving or trying to get understanding from yourself a little bit more the closer you get to Scorpio. Now, Scorpio was told it was the death card because it was the eighth house. And there we go, boom, it's transformation. Really, Scorpios have the tenacity to, they're, they're investigators, they're detectives. They are willing to go deep into something or some place or someone just to figure out how things work. And they're not afraid of exploration into the inner psyche and into the shadow areas of the self. They're not afraid of that, but they are fixed so they don't like change. Once they go through the cycle and actually discover that change, that could be different. So how does that apply to you, Aries? Well, Mars rules you as well, just in a different way. So while they are very fixed, you are not. You are somebody who likes to boop, 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 go, 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 go. Whereas Scorpio takes his time. And because we've got the Scorpio card here, we've got this thing of you just have to look into it a little bit. That's the card that I've got here. You just have to look into it a little bit. In October, I think the month, even though you may not feel like you've done much, you actually have done a lot of inner work inner understanding and as a result November December will be better for it it will be simpler for it it will be all the wonderful for it hopefully fingers crossed um but you'll probably find that October goes very strange halfway through and that is because Mercury goes into retrograde as well we have a lot of planets in retrograde so your communication it may not hit the target as much as you want it to. Um, it may not be as flowing as much as it wanted to either. And I really feel like this could be coming into effect with your play, um, with your self-expression. You could have a few bits of drama, people misunderstanding what you say. Um, I do feel like the people around you, because this is the romance card as well, it could be a little bit like, people aren't really understanding what I'm putting down here. They're not picking up what I'm putting down. I, I don't know how else to say it. You can't say it any other way than what you already are, dear Aries. You cannot push things and force people to understand at the moment. Mercury is in Libra. It's going retrograde in Libra. And this is basically going to be a little bit of... Um, yeah, in balance. I'm just going to leave it at that for the moment. Because you may want to get something resolved, but you can't get it resolved because people aren't understanding you and because Mars is retrograde and because it's all this. I think you're going to be very inner frustrated. Um, but, like I say, you're going to have a lot of positives. Now, don't just, I don't like to focus on, oh, it's going to be horrible. It's not. It's actually going to be quite positive. It's going to be quite forward thinking. And if you make... Note of the cycles, if you make note of your hormones, what they're doing, if you make note of what other people are doing, if you just kind of go ah, and pause and learn what October is bringing for you and just saying, hang on a second, then I think you'll start to see the tipping points of people, the trigger points of people, the people who will go off in a flash and the people who will just kind of accept it, roll with it and move on. There's something to be said for just kind of being the Scorpio detective and just watching people, observing, of seeing things that are coming through a little bit more and just going, I know your game. I know your game here. You know, just doing that a little bit. Whoops. Sorry for knocking the camera and the microphone, it seems. Sorry about that. Okay, so let's just have a little bit of a clarification card here. So what does Aries need to know about the relationship side of things? Not just romantic with this. 
okay your intuition is telling you all you need to know when it comes to your relationships um also you have the ten of cups which is really nice it means that you should be feeling um or have the potential to be very full emotionally very aligned with your happiness because i feel like for some of you you are going to get understanding from this because you understand other people so as soon as they see you going okay yeah i get your level now there's going to be more information they feel comfortable giving you however he did come out upside down so there could be some earth sign people that you're trying to bump heads against or there could be some people who really aren't aware of how they can talk to you in a way they don't really see it. they seem like they put a barrier up in some respects but I wouldn't say to worry about this too much Aries I just think this is something that they are dealing with and you just have to kind of take a step back here but I do feel that for the most part this month is asking you to be a detective again focus on the people focus on how they are doing things focus on how you are doing in the cycles if there's anything you want to change now is the time to change it if there is any cycles that you feel you need help with now is the time to focus maybe on your inner knowing what does Aries need to know what card would Aries like okay we need to have <laughs> okay I've been going on about Scorpio and I was like why was I going on about Scorpio well here we go new moon in Scorpio not quite work through your fears so we do have a full moon on the 31st of October and we have a new a full moon sorry on the 1st of October so it kind of bookends the month this is the perfect time to work through your fears this is the perfect time to see if there's anything that you want to change anything you're scared of changing being rejected you know stuff like that it could be something that you really need to transform in your life therefore align with your happiness use your intuition as to how to move forwards and how people work and how people tick rather than just focusing on i need to get forwards using the advantage of understanding people is very much going to be a key point of october not necessarily to manipulate to your game but just to understand how to work with them better how to incorporate your own feelings a little bit better as well um so yeah, that's what I feel is coming through for you, my darling Aries. Do let me know in the comments below how your October goes or if you have any plans. Do let me know in the comments below. If you'd like a reading from me, everything in the description box shows you how to get in touch. But in the meantime, take care of yourselves and each other. And I look forward to seeing you soon.